Should we talk real Sounds quiet? Sounds like deja vu. We should talk real quiet. No, because we don't have the real mic on this camera. Oh, so we got to be loud. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I got to be my man voice That's on. That's deep, not loud. No. You have a good voice. <laughs> when I use it. Yes. If I don't mumble to my chin. But you lost your chin. A lot of it. It's still yeah, some of it there. It's still there. It's still there a little bit. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And good night. And my phone's going off already. And I'm drinking coffee. They said I could. I drink coffee. It's hot, too. Mm -hmm. How you doing today, Stick? Good. Good. Oh. Stick's not supposed to talk. Stick, talk. 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 Oh, man. Wait, this, but we got to cut that out. Uh, use the, your editing skills. Yes, I'll take it out. Mm -hmm. Listen, know what we're here to talk about today? Two pages. No, wrong video. Oh. We're here to talk about guns. Oh, yeah, we got those. Stuff we got in for the weekend. Check it out. Not going to waste a lot of your time. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. We're going to talk about some of the guns of that we, we got are. in. Some are oldies, but you haven't been able to find them in a long time. And some are the brand new ones. The new cool kid stuff. Hey, you're, you're popular again. I'm popular. We're always popular. It's all day. So, so let's just jump right into this. Start with right. the first one. What do we got here? We have a Performance Shield Plus, which is a 2.0 Performance Center with the Crimson Trace. Red dot on that. Ported slide. That's the nine or the 380? This is the nine. 13 nine. rounds. 13 rounds? 13 uh, plus one, so 14 rounds. And actually, the trigger's awesome now. Go Smith for fixing their trigger. It's about so, time. It's it a nice flat trigger. I like my flat trigger. Good triggers. break, good reset. Very awesome new gun. We got one of those. We also have a regular one. I'm going to turn them the other direction so I know when I've grabbed them. Because I'm smart. He's finally getting there. Here's an Here's oldie. An oldie but goodie. That but you haven't really seen in a while. Clock 43, the classic. And these are new. These Folks, are we're going over some of the new ones. Again, we're doing a lot with the concealed carry guns because guess what? That's what people are doing. People aren't going to the outdoor range because it's too damn hot. Facts. Listen, we got to talk about something else real quick. It's hot. Oh, we're going to talk about something else. The air works. No, not in here. Out there. We got fans on. It's warm. Yeah. Um, now, where was I going? Folks. I was going to distract you. Be a smart shopper. Yes. We're here to help you out. Sometimes we make mistakes in the pricing. We do. Sometimes we put some really good deals online and don't tell you about it. You have to search and look for it. Take advantage of those. Um, Super sneak. Folks, some of these other, um, how do I do it without bashing people? I'm not going to bash people. Be an educated consumer. Yes, we shop local. Find yourself a good local shop. Shop local, but be smart. And you don't have to drive all around town because we put our prices online. Just double check their website. Double check. Because some of these people are selling... What was it the other day? Well, I know the Smith & Wesson somebody bought somewhere and else one. for oh. $6.99. This may or may not have been either confirmed or denied $200 more, the exact same gun Yeah. at a local shop. We have a lot of people that come in and buy a gun. A lot. $20, whatever. Yeah. $200 is a lot. Yeah. They come in and they're sitting there, hey, I just got one of these from over. Oh my God, I just spent $200 more for the same gun. Mm -hmm. And some of the people are spending a ton more on the same gun, but it's used. Folks, we are telling you this because it has happened a lot lately, and that is not saying that we are the cheapest person ever. We try to be cheap or inexpensive, price right, but some we of these people things, are gouging like crazy still. Yeah, we price things so you, for you can come back, or so you can come back. Right. Um, we, want, we don't want that one and done. Mm -hmm. and that's what most uh, retail places philosophy is now, one and done, because uh, we will probably never see that person again. So they take all the money they possibly can on that first sale and basically screw you, we're not gonna see you again. So be careful with that. Just double check. Educate yourself. Yep. Because I made that mistake buying cars, motorcycles, <laughs> everything else. We make that mistake buying a lot of stuff. Yeah. But now I look. Especially it's so convenient on a phone these days. So all right, let's go. What do we got next? Another goodie, but an oldie that you have not seen in forevers. That is a Glock 26, folks. Glock Again, 26, this is a 9 millimeter. 10 round 9 mil. This is the Sticks, one of his favorite carry guns. 9 Millimeter, it's new. And that's a Gen 5, which we haven't had in, oh, about a year. <laughs> you know, the problem is some of these manufacturers I'm finding out, especially with our, uh, anything has to do with plastics, rubbers, anything like that. One of the materials that they use to make the rubber and the plastic, they can't get. Yeah, part of the chemical makeup. Um, welcome to the new world. Um, so that's why you're not seeing a lot of these guns out there. Facts. And for you car folks out there, that's why you can't find your tires. What's gonna be weird is when we start zapping into some of these, are we gonna have issues? Those are made differently. I'm sure with the Glocks and all, it's going to be the same thing. Hopefully. So, Next one. The Springfield Hellcat. Guys, this came out last year. This is a 13-in-1 or a 11-in-1 9mm pistol. Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. Hello, Hello Kitty. Kitty Cats. 
Named after the car. So for all you Dodge people out there, come on in, get yourself a... Mm -hmm. Hellcat, these have the best Hellcat. This is where you compete with the uh, SIG 365 and all that. Uh, we also have, speaking of competition, the ever so cool kid NRA edition 365 XL RX. That's a mouthful of letters and numbers to say. Let's look at that. This actually comes with 15 round mags. It Special really serial crazy. number, NRA. Let's see if you can get the red dot in the camera there. So these are a limited run. You might have been able to see, you might not have been. Cool color. Very cool. Still, the 365 series is probably still the most popular gun. Comes with the out coin, there. too. Everyone likes the coin. Everybody needs a coin, you know. If you ever have to make a phone call, you go to the jail or something like that, you gotta make that last call. Mm -hmm. You need that coin. Or if you're a really bad shot and you pass and the phone's ringing, you can use your coin to pay the toll guy to go to. See, that coin's very to go valuable. To this one I'm kind of interested in. This is the new Ruger Security Max 9, right? Max 9. Max 9. Not security. No, no security. Ruger. Max 9. That's another 12, 13 round gun. Nice fiber optic front sight. I will say the trigger is better than I thought, too. Cut and out it's for... it's red dot cut. Yeah, red dot cut, sorry. Stop cutting in front of me. Sorry about that. Okay. I get excited when I see cool stuff. I'm looking at other things that are under my hands. We'll go over them next. Well, you, that's all I use. Okay. You, you got the big guns. Oh. This gun's not even out in the market yet. Technically, um, although they are starting to pop up, we got two. We already sold one before we put it on the shelf. Not even out yet. Don't ask me what model it is. It's I'm a 1301. I forget the exact designation, but the one with the pistol grip with the extended tube on it. The sights on there. This is the one with the rail on top. The Picatinny. You know what you could put up there? Coffee cup holder. Oh, you could. You could, you know, or a bipod. You could put a bipod up there. Yeah, bipod, coffee cup holder. You could put like a, like a GoPro on it. You could put like I'm a sure magazine, a magazine holder. Same. Magazine holder. Oh, folks, real quick. One of the first Berettas, mostly made in the U.S. Shotgun wise, so Italian lower and everything else is, I guess, made in the U.S. now, Dang. which is kind of cool. So that's a hybrid -y thing going on with it. Make it free spaghetti with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a Tavor too. I didn't see the Tavor up there. Well, we sold the other one, and then we scored another. So. One of my favorite rifles out there. It's 95. I will not fumble with the uh, covers this time. Probably people that watched me fumble with them last time. Ambidextrous. Ambi. It's got the cool little flip up side. It's all hidden in there. Those are the sound effects. You gotta love it when they pull on the door, they look at the sign, they get all pissed off, and they realize they're at the wrong store. Ah, El Watcher Shapa? Yeah. You gotta make those noises. You know they're about to yell. Probably. Open your damn door. Open your door. I'm not changing my... the battery in your watch. I need my battery changed. What else we got here? Hurry up. Oh, oh, too far. I'll go. Just turn. What does this look like? A gun. You're good. I've been practicing. Does this look like a SIG 226? A little bit. Okay, I want to show you something else real quick. It's got different grips though, Joe. It's got weird grips on it. And what is on that? Red What's that say right there? Does that say? Wait, the 226 has a red dot cut? It's, and that says Legione. Oh, that, Legion. Must be, that must be French. Legion, <laughs> Legion. A blacked out Legion 226. Pretty cool. There's not Still a single. Still my favorite gun. Bit of silver on that gun, which is what I no, like. Love it. Blacked out. Put a nice uh, red dot on there. So I could be badass. Put like a Romeo. Yes, we have it here. One problem. Who else has it? One? Probably nobody. Probably nobody. Because we're special like that. That is actually my favorite in the shop sees. Ah, this is the Glock 21. So listen, if you're compensating for something. Like I am. Small ego. Actually, this fits me pretty good. This is a 45. Yeah, when was the last time you saw one of these bad boys? Two seconds ago, it was right there. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's right. Where? It was right there. Oh, that's right, it was on the table. But yeah, we got a Glock. I already forgot the number, 21. Gen 4, obviously, because there's no Gen 5s for all you 45 caliber stuff. You poor bastards. Cool thing with the Glocks, they are the, the Chevy 350 of the they work. gun world. There's a thousand things you can do with them, and they just work. It's actually, a workhorse. Like hmm. The bigger grip actually fits me better. Okay, last handgun we're going to go over. 
Which one have we got here? This is the 19 Gen 5. Front serrations, the new ones without the holes cut in the bottom of the silly grip there. That is the world's most popular gun, folks. If you were looking for your first which gun. Which hole are you talking about? Oh, yeah. They had a hole in the grip there, which drove everyone crazy. Oh, the horseshoe thing they had yeah, there? Yeah, for like a little while. So this got rid of that and added front serrations. Thank you, Glock. Thank you for quickly killing that. Some of those people with bigger hands, that was very uh, uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So it's a very cool popular gun. This is kind of like a great everything gun, honestly. That's why it's so popular. And we have a bunch of these in, folks. We're just but, uh, yeah, showing you some. because we. time you watch this video, I'm sure some will be gone. Um, we'll so post jump it. on the website, we'll post it. I'm going to try to put links to everything. Um, stop in today, tomorrow. Check them out. We also got Medford's in there, too. Show them some of these, that toothpick right there. Mm -hmm. Listen, you're at a nice restaurant, you're eating dinner, you get a little piece of broccoli caught in the teeth. That's what you need right there. Look at this handle, though. That is sexy. That's a good looking knife. If you appreciate how things are made, you'll love these. Yeah. It's just pretty. Comes with a little sheath. What would they call that one? This is a dagger. Is that what they call it? No, they call it a... They usually have cool oh. names. Oh. <laughs> This is this FS Commando, which I'm sure means something funny, which I don't know about. Guess um, what the one right next to it is called? I'm not going to say the word, but the I'm going to spell it. The F-U-K. The <laughs> Now I want it because of the name. I know. And look how thick that is, too. That is insane. It's over a quarter inch. That's like... It's like me. It's like half an inch almost. It's insane. Well, not quite half, but... That is ridiculously thick. It's like as thick as the Glock, which is cool. Yeah, the F-U-K. I can't say it because Facebook will probably think I'm trying to say a bad word. So you say it like, you say it like the, you say it like that, you know? I know, it's a badass whole knife. That one might be sold, folks. We got other ones in there down there. Would you like me to open it up? Yeah, because my hand, I'm not going I over any further that way. way. Look at this thing. I still don't know the name of this one. The stick sent me a picture of that yesterday as soon as it came in, and I'm not gonna lie. It's about as chubby. pretty as it gets right now. I just dropped the box. Mm. Uh-huh. That makes such a good sound when they close. Uh-huh. The hell's it called? A burr. A burr. A burr. You want a burr? We can have a burr. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. And that's just a fighting knife. This one's been discontinued. So it's a good fighting knife. When this um, is gone, it's gone. So if you have a hard time opening boxes and you're always fighting with those boxes, those Amazon packages, this is the knife you need. I can yeah, just see you in your house right now, like, ah, people throwing boxes at you and you're just chopping them up. Oh, yeah. I mean, we can record that. Oh, by the way. We'll link that video underneath. I can laugh. It's raining. <laughs> Just wash my car. This prick's out there drying his car off, washing it in the parking lot before he came in today. <laughs> Hope that bird pooped on it too. <laughs> probably did. Probably did. Probably did. It probably pooped right after it ran, so then the poop sticks really good. Uh, yeah, that's what Speaking they do. of poop. We gotta go. <laughs> what else we got cool here? You got a bunch of we, Medfords in. We got a bunch of Medfords in, so I'm new. We some had a call the other day in Yale because we were down to like three. Mm hmm. Folks, again, these Medfords, there's like a six month wait to Tell get one. one. That bolster looks cool. Look at that. It's like a two tone bolster. I like that. Tell them what a bolster is for the folks that don't know. It's like the top of, I don't even know. It's the top of a knife with a different material. He's using a word, he doesn't know what it means. Well, I know what it is, but I don't know like, how to describe it. It's a, it's a section at the top of the handle that's Why don't you point it out a to different material. This one's not, it's like a faux bolster because it's all one solid handle. Oh. Yeah, because like a real bolster would be like, Wood and then like copper or brass or something. Yeah, it's cool though. I like it. I like it. Now we got an envelope. Everyone's gigantic favorite big knife. We got all kinds of good ones in. Everyone likes the envelope. You want, don't want to go crazy, but you still want something custom? Hey, you put your face on the knife? No, I'm good looking. Oh, that, that guy's, guy's got not hair. bad looking. He's got hair on that one. He's got and a suit, you wouldn't wear a this suit. This is a Trump. Trump one. Trump one. Are you going to number them? You should number them. This is a Kershaw leak, stainless steel. Um, basically, there's a lot of polishing that goes on. Makes this thing look like chrome. It's got my fingerprints all over it now. That's how you know it's good. 
But if you look at it, I mean, it's... That is the new little drop point sheep's foot kind of thing going on on that one. The all stainless. Definitely a show off knife. The custom polishing it out thing is pretty awesome. In person, it, it is sick. Yeah, it's pictures cool. don't do it right. No, because you can never get the light on it right. No, uh, it just reflects everything. It's cool though, very cool. So, oh, speaking of curl rivets. Oh, wait, I gotta show one more knife too after you grab your knife. Again, this is a fighting knife. These knives are designed, they go in your pocket. So basically, as you're taking the knife out of your pocket, it hooks onto your uh, jeans, your pocket, whatever material it is, and flips it open. So really, you'd be grabbing it like this. So as it comes out, it's ready to fight. So That's a legit I love this thing. Fox, do me a favor, make one for our man. It needs a little bit bigger of a loop right there. It means a bigger man, because I'm a man, or at least I think I am. And I can That's not what your wife told me. Oh, Sherry, we're talking about this later. But these are awesome. Again, I've been looking for one forever. I just, I can get my finger in there, but it gets stuck around that nut gum. That just looks <laughs> weird. I'm going to stop doing that. I'm going to walk over here. I didn't want to say out. anything. I thought you were going to keep going with it. It's kind of funny. Here, come show them how your finger fits in that hole again, Joe. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, so we're going to show you one more. I got more. me in trouble in my life a few times. Joe, Joe has not even seen this one yet. So this is called the Drunken Pen. It's a Spyderco. We get some Spydercos in, but usually it's like the uh, ones for salt and stuff like that. This one is one of their super awesome fancy ones. Contoured and color and fiber with blue accents. Contoured full titanium with blue accents. Really awesome steel. I forgot what it was already. S90V. Sheep's foot. It's a Sinkovich design, which... We like our Sinkoviches here. I had dinner with them last week. Mm -hmm. It is crazy looking, and I'm in love with it. It is super light, too. Feel this. You have not felt it yet. Ooh. It's very light. A lot of titanium. I like my carbon fiber. It's all contoured. Everything's contoured. Even the blades all rounded off. So that one's not a cheapie, but that one is a very nice knife. That is nice. That feels nice. That's like that in-between production and like custom stuff like you'd have with a knife. It's cool, though. Yeah, when you get the custom one off something that takes you six months to get it, you're you're paying for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's worth it though. How about the saint behind me? The sink behind me? The saint. Saint. Oh saint. Like me, I'm a saint. So you're gonna go wash your hands in the sink. sink. Yeah. Yeah. Saints badass. I thought you showed you this. Do you not I show you? Which one? It so this be. is the Springsfield. Oh, and he's gone. Oh. Oh, the chaparral. I have one of those. This is the saint. Uh, after getting my hands on it quite a bit here lately, I am now under the impression that this might be better than the tread. This is the victor, though. This is the victor. This is not the regular Saint. So you better handguard, better furniture. I've been a fan of the Saints since they came out. It's just very, very well done for the money. And it's crazy. Best bang for the buck. Me and Chris were talking. We think we would both take this over a DD. I'm not a DD fan. They're I don't dislike them. I, they, it's a high quality product. It's good. For two grand but though, would you take that over this? Well, it comes down to they have a NASCAR team, or they have a NASCAR team. They have all this race yeah. stuff. You go down to the, the shows for dealers. They're too. bringing in race cars. They're bringing in all kinds, which we love our race cars. Um, and it's who's got, paying for that? It's got debadged BCM furniture. We found out those BCM furniture. Really? They oh, just got something up there. Yeah, they just. Uh, that's how they get. Springfield Armory. It's made by BCM. Yeah, if you're gonna spend. Ten billion dollars on advertising. Somebody's paying for it. It's going to be the end consumer. This thing is sick. So are you getting a better product? No, you're just paying for better advertising. Mid link to crumbling barrel. Listen, Hold for all of us that like everything. to go out and eat, enjoy a nice steak. I almost sold that on you yesterday. I know you want it. Don't no, sell it. Cutco. Cutco, not to be confused with Costco. Huge difference. Huge difference. They say this is a hunting knife. Yeah. But just imagine, you're walking into your favorite steakhouse. It's got a sheet too. You just it like comes it. with a sheet, you just have your sheet on. When your steak comes out, you just pull this out. That's not a knife. <laughs> and just start cutting it. And this is what? What kind of handle? What that kind of bone? Mother of pearl bone. It's an antler, but they call it mother of pearl. But you said there's engraving in here? Yeah, I can't yeah, see the close-up You can't see, and there's two in there. And the other side too, it's like oh, yeah, signed. Oh yeah, there it is. Like a, like an so, edge signature. Full knife right there. Yeah. yeah. That is used, unused? I don't know. It's pre-owned, new. It's never They're what, 400 bucks new? It's never so. been used. We unwrapped it. Yeah, we unwrapped it. This one I have no clue about. This is a chaparral, folks. This is like a gentleman's folder from Spider-Man. The Canadian? Yes. Dave Chaparral. Huh. 
I have the carbon fiber version, and I didn't even know they made this one. And this one popped up in the little thing for me on our distributor. And I was like, ooh, shiny, I want it. Yeah, that's one of my favorite. What kind of wood is it? Is a, it? it was, uh-huh, it says it on there. I already forgot that. You're going to grave something on there? Maple. This is maple. It's a blonde maple. So this is, this is going to be your breakfast knife for your maple syrup. I would, that would be like my going out to dinner night back in the Dizze. It's very pretty. The wood is, that is gorgeous. All right. What else are you going to show them? We got ammo. We got 9 mil. 9 mil is still stuck at that same price, folks. We uh, did get all the new O-lights, folks. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, show them that one, that, the orange one. Orange one? Want to change his colors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks at me like I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't, because the orange is uh, throwing me off. Because <laughs> he's colorblind. Not joking either. He is. It looks gold to me. It's orange, bronzes, goldish. Yeah. It says orange on the bottom. It's pink. So we got on. See, it's pretty bright. There goes the stick's eyes. He has still got his eyes closed. He's just blindly holding it. So if it starts to tilt, it's because he's fainting. He's mad at me right now. And then we got, I don't want to look at it either. It's got the different modes. You got the There's red. candlelight mode. I don't want to look at it. There's green. green. And then blue. And it comes with a cone. So if you're out there directing traffic, traffic which they needed last night to track. Yes. Because those Dodge people just weren't paying attention. Here, I can flash everyone with the moonlight mode. Folks, this Please mode goes for me. like 48 hours straight. Oh, no, no, no. On this one, it goes for 30 days. 30 days. That's right. On. It's crazy. Non-stop. Think about it. Camping, hurricane, something like that. I wonder if we got strobe mode too. I was trying to figure that out yesterday and I couldn't. I don't think it does strobe. So. It's awesome though. Cool. Magnetic rechargeable battery. So. Sticks to things. Records like your iPhone, iWatch, whatever they call it. Mm -hmm. We have all the old lights in. We got all of them. All the new cool kids stuff. If you're looking, we got the lanterns. So hurricane season's now. So we got the lanterns. Those go for 24 hours and they'll light up a whole room. So two straight days of being on. Which, let's be honest, with the uh, sunlight being out, we'll probably only keep it on for about six hours. This lantern makes me feel like a giant. I thought it was going to be bigger, and it's so tiny. But it's crazy is that it's tiny, and it has a lot of battery life, Joe. What's the battery life? 48 hours of on. And that's 15 lumens on. Oh, it's even got the red. A little nightlight. Mm -hmm. That goes even longer. Is that the brightest? Mm, I don't think it's charged, but yes. I think the brightest is like 180 lumens. So. Oh, there. Yeah, there we go. Uh-huh. There you go. Joe's, I gotta stop, I can't hold it anymore. Jokes are gonna come out of that one. You get your little red pocket. Okay, I can't even look at it, that's great. Pretty cool, you're camping, anything like that. Again, hurricanes, power goes out. Nice romantic evening, by yourself. Do you think people are still watching your video? <laughs> We don't even know what we're talking about anymore. You said romantic. You're Eating talking about your yourself. little red light and you're talking about being romantic. You finally caught that. Uh huh. This is his flashlight. Insert so. the letter E. Stick, pick one more thing to talk about. We got used guns, we got the custom mags, used rifles, hunting rifles. He can't talk though, so he can only point. Oh, what would he point at? Oh, we got more red dots coming. We got red dots now, though. He's not pointing at anything. Mm. He's pointing at something up on the wall. KF7s? Are you pointing at the KF7s? Those yeah, are KF7, KFC. KFCs. This is the CZ. Folks, if you need a very good quality, inexpensive semi automatic shotgun, CZ makes one for you. Look at that little guy. That is the stick CZ is a huge CZ G fan. Too. He would point out the CZ out of this whole oh. shot. 712, I had to remember the number. Remember, you can't talk, you're not allowed to make a noise. So, full short barrel, semi automatic shotgun, great for home defense, and they're well under 430 by about a penny. Again, we're not allowed to talk pricing because. Facebook doesn't like us. Yes, and people turn us in, our competitors like to turn us in because they got nothing better to do with their time. So, I'm always getting a warning. Warning, warning, so, warning. We can show you some more custom stuff. We got some hand engraved. This is probably locked and I can't get in. Probably. Which it should be. Oh, I'm going to tell you the story on this one, too. All right. So, shopping for knives when we were ordering them the other day. 
saw this really cool big chopper knife, like this big, awesome, chopping, wicked looking wide thing. So I'm like, cool, we should probably get one of those. So we get it in, and this is what we get in. Yeah, folks, read the description when it tells you blade length because totally thought this was gonna be like a six inch blade. And I got it in and I'm like, where's that big one at? And I open it up and I'm like, oh, that's a big one. <laughs> Whoops, but it's kinda cool. Somebody out there, some women are gonna swear that's nine inches since yeah. they've been told they're that's all That's what I've been telling them. McBee pen, I probably should have noticed from the name. It was- Holy tiny. It is tiny and it's very well like done too. Look at the little dimples in it and stuff. It's very cool. I thought it was gonna be like that big though. Size of a razor blade. Yeah. Kind of cool. That's very cool. So yeah, we got one of those in two. Thought it was big. Got a 1911. Need some tricked out grips. Uh, these are actually hogue grips. Simple engraving on there. We can put whatever you want. We have some other ones coming. I did do another set that your brother might like. Oh yeah. So and they're chromed out. They're really trick. Hand engraved. We do have a hand engraver, folks. It yes, is not I brought us. it to him last night. Did you? Out at dinner. Very nice. So I bought him dinner. Very nice. And he kissed me on the lips in front of everybody. Oh, beautiful. It was, uh, is that why you're still talking about this flashlight? That's, that's why I want the lantern. <laughs> this jack o' lantern? Um, again, it's hand engraved. Hand engraving is awesome. You can never duplicate hand engraving. Nope. You want to duplicate something, you want something totally off the wall, we can do it for you. This is another Kershaw leak. This one is not polished out. Was that one black marked? Black marks. I like black mark. Black mark's not coming off, folks. Rub it, do whatever you want. It's not gonna come off. Uh, it's above my pay grade. <laughs> Brings all the carbon to the top. Brings all the carbon to the top, changes the color of the steel. Like with the Trump one that we showed you earlier, there's some reds and blues in there. Um, you will catch that one in editing. Yeah, I might take that one out. That was pretty funny. Not really. I'll keep no, that. That's hilarious. We're not editing. Uh, yeah. I lost one. So, we have other stuff here, more guns. We got some Fusion Pro series. We finally have cool stuff back. Yay, America. Yay. So stop in and see us quick because it won't be here long. Facts. Anything else you got to say? Peace. I'm out of here. Peace of what? Okay. Love peace, chicken grease. Because chicken grease is good.